Today I'm just going to be showing how I route my microphone or manage to gain my microphone using the Marquee DLC Creator. Regardless of any microphone you're using, it's still going to require the same process. There are different ways that you can do your microphone. All we need to achieve is to make sure that we gain the microphone properly, the right way, okay? Hello YouTube family, Digital you Escape here, you welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. Please make sure you subscribe if you like the content we're creating here. Already a subscriber and you're here again, welcome back to the channel. So from the overview, all you have to do first to format your SD card is to go to settings. When you go to settings, you go to disk, Bluetooth and disk. So the next is going to be your SD card. Just press format and format your SD card. If you are using the SD card for the very first time, you need to format it, okay? And the next one is going to be your USB drive. If you plug in USB, you can also do USB format. So that's how you format your SD card, all right? Once you're done, you can get out of that. And the next thing you're going to do is that you press your record. Once I enable it there, if you're recording on SD card, be sure you choose SD card for you to record. My computer also, I'll choose multi-track record on the computer. This, you can choose stereo or you can choose multi-track also. Regardless, that's what I have right now. So that's what I'm going to choose. Then I'll get out of here. So when you press your record, this is how you enable it. Then your record will be going on. I'm using the h -Walk Icon Pro. That's the mic I'm going to be using right now. First thing I'll do is to bring my fader to a Unity gain. Once I have it on the Unity game, then I can go on the mic. You can double tap your corresponding mic channel to bring it to you. Or you can go on the channel to access it. Either way you want to do it, it's pretty fine. What I will encourage you to do first is that if this is your first time, you really don't know much setting up your microphone. This device gives you the ability to use a processing that is going to help you. So I did factory research so that we can start from the beginning, all right? If you are a beginner, I will advise you start with the easy mode or the enhanced mode, okay? And even if you choose the pro mode, you can still use this setup assistance to help you, okay? I'll choose the easy mode right now just for you to know that the easy mode will get you up to 95% of what you need. So try and make sure you turn on the setup assistance and click next. Here, I'm going to choose a dynamic microphone. I mean, a condenser microphone because that's what I'm using. So I'm choosing condenser microphone. Then I'll click next. So here is asking me to set input level and you can set the input level on your own if you want to do so, all right? But what I will advise you to do is to use this listening and set mic for me. Then when you press that, you can talk into the microphone and it will set it for you, okay? If you're going to use this, just speak normally as you're going to speak while you are creating your content. When you are trying to set up your mic using the auto gain, okay? Just do that. Then you speak the way you're going to speak to people or how you're going to speak your content creation and it will set it for you, all right? So once you are done with that, you click next. You can skip all the mic. I'm only concerned about mic one. So I'll go to next and you are done. So you are all set, okay? You can skip top. So you are all set now when you're doing your microphone gain level. All I have to do now is just to turn up my headphone and be listening to what I have, okay? This is just the simplest way to set your microphone for the very first time and it gets you almost 90% of what you need to do. That's more like the system is helping you to set up the microphone, all your gates, compression, everything. The system will do that for you. And I think most people are going to be fine doing it this way. But if you want to take it to the next level, all you have to do is to go to setting. The easy mode that you are, you can change it to enhanced mode, okay? And you click next. So this is the enhanced mode, right? From that enhanced mode, you can go to your channel, you see you have more of layout and that is where you have your reverb and you have your delay on the enhanced mode, okay? Then you have bypass or processing auto. This is where you can change your channel name and all that thing. And you can see set level automatically. 
we did in the enhanced mode okay this is your condenser this is dynamic depend on the kind of microphone you are trying to choose and those are what you get in the setup here then you can go to the advanced control that is where you have another kind of eq that you want to use in the advanced in my eq i want to put more bass you can put it this is taking out some bass this is adding more bass okay those are basic features that you can do this is your mid tone you can take out of the mid tone if you want to and your treble you can add treble you can take out of the treble okay you have your high pass filter you can take it off noise gate compression dsa all those are there that you can take in or out so your noise gate is going to be automatic your compression is going to be automatic but you can add amount of compression or take out of the compression just look at all this knob whatever color that they are showing will be correspond to the color on the screen this is red it's going to correspond to my input level that's going to be my trim or gain these blues are going to be one controlling my eq and i only have one for this which is going to be my compression and i have my dsa i can just turn the dsa on so those are the functions you get with enhanced mode okay and they are pretty much good they're pretty much okay 90 percent of people that are going to use this device the enhanced mode will be more than enough for what they need and that will be the enhanced mode for you but if you are a pro and you want to take it to the next level then you can go to the pro level or the pro settings and change your settings if you look at the pro mode interface you have screen brightness light button and all those things you see in the enhanced mode but if you look at the upper column right there you will have your overview which gives you the record that the next is going to be your channel on the channel you have what you actually went through the first time your microphone name your microphone the channel bypass processing the next column still give you the levels that if you want to set it automatically is there the next thing is going to be your pan if you look at this we do not have this in the enhanced mode then you have your reverb which you can use we have this in the enhanced mode but the pan is not in the enhanced mode and that's one column the next column we're going to check is going to be the effect column we do not have this in the enhanced mode and this is where you want to turn on your effect your reverb whatever you want to do this is where you want to turn them on then you have your delay also where you can increase your delay it's not coming out now because we, if we get out of here then you can bring out the delay and i can take it out then you have your reverb so that's the reverb all right you can dial in some reverb now i have delay so those are the delay and you can go to the effects you can turn them off all right you can turn them off once they are off there if you go to your channel they're not going to be functioning if you turn them back on here okay they will not be functioning so you have that then after the effect you have your media you have your snapshot and you have your samples and co so when you look at your channel right under that channel we have the setup which is the first screen here the next to the setup is the eq like i said before I make you understand that the pro mode is to help you set all the parameters that you need to set, all right? Even though when you put it in the pro mode, all those parameters are going to be set automatically for you by the system. All you're going to need is just go in there and kind of reconfigure how you really want to set the microphone or how you want to color or program the microphone. So what I am going to do is that I have my EQ. I can turn the EQ off. That's the EQ. It's now grayed out and you can turn it back on. It's going to bring you the color. On the EQ, I have this preset, which is sparkle right there. That's this. Then you have your high pass filter. So on the high pass filter, you can easily control the intensity of the high pass filter. You can just control this intensity, how, how low you want to go on it or how high you want to, you know, come on the high pass filter. It's Kind of up to you then your sparkle is now up to you what you want if you want to change to em 98 you just load it and it's going to change kind of the eq for you you can now say okay i want to change the parameter 
of my EQ and give it a little boost right there. I can come here and bring this down on my own. Probably you want to bring this up and you can bring this down. It depends on how you want to set your EQ. So that's how to set your EQ, all right? The next thing we're going to do is to go to the gate. So you have gate already been set for you. You can set your attack and your hold time. You can set the intensity of the gate. That's probably going to depend on you, how you want to set the gate, depend on if your environment is noisy. The next is going to be compression. The compression also, we have some presets that you can use. You can use mid compression, you can use flat. I like this 7B compression. Then you load it and you're good to go. You can make the curve smooth or can you can make it a, like kind of angle curve, but smooth curve is always better, okay? Then you can change the parameter to whatever you like. It's going to depend on your liking and how well you know your way around this. All right. The next is going to be your DSR, which is going to be the last on this one. All right. The DSR is already been set for you, probably due to your tone. Whatever it is, it's right there. That's going to be all about the pro mode. Those are the three ways that you can set your microphone on the Marquis DLC creator. So, like I said, if you're using the easy mode, it will get you up to where you're going. You can use the enhanced mode also or your pro mode. It depends on your knowledge about what you are doing. So what we're going to do next is how to pair your phone with your Marquis. It's very easy and simple to do. All you have to do is to you go to the settings, right? You go to Bluetooth and disk and you come to Bluetooth. You go to your phone also the settings you go to your bluetooth and you do pair and this is going to show here on your phone and in this case i already pair mine okay so mine is connected and it's showing you dlc creator that's what you're going to see once they are connected you're good to go the next thing you want to do is to move the feather for your uh, phone let me just see if i can play any music out of here so if you are receiving call immediately you're going to get the call with miss minus but all you have to do first is to come on that channel and enable miss minus so the miss minus you have to put it on that way you don't get feedback all right so you can push your feather up so that's coming from my phone right now wirelessly pair with the marquee dlc creator so that way you can receive a phone call if you want to and that's going to be your channel 9 and 10 all right that's how you do pairing of your phone if you are going to pair your phone with the marquee dlc very easy and simple to do guys that would be it for me on this one i hope you learn one or two things about routing your microphone the right way so that you can get a proper gain level and also how you can pair your cell phone for you to receive call on the dlc creator if you find this information useful to you and you are yet to be a subscriber please do subscribe to this channel press the notification button and share this video give it a thumbs up if you like the video guys and that's gonna be my time on this one until next time stay blessed bye bye guys